Hey guys, Hexus here, and welcome back to the Bitcoin Weekly News. We're actually going to start off with Samsung today. And the reason we're starting off with Samsung is it's been brought to the attention of uh, a few users that Samsung phones actually have backdoors that hackers have been using um, to get a hold of Bitcoin wallets or to get a hold of information, things like that. So I definitely wanted to put this out to everybody. If you have a Samsung phone, I will be posting a link that will tell you exactly which models have the vulnerabilities and what those vulnerabilities may be now the only thing is of course it is a lot of coding so it may not be the slightest or the easiest fix but again you can at least know if your phone is vulnerable and possibly what steps you might be able to take again it is a lot of coding so it might be a little difficult I'll try and see if I can't find a more uh, simplified solution for it later on but quickly moving on uh, to this guy, he is of course the superintendent for <laughs> New York regulatory, and apparently New York has passed new rules on Bitcoin licenses, which will um, be affecting how some Bitcoin businesses run, how if some Bitcoin startups were going to be starting up. Um, of course, a lot of the information that they've released is saying that. You're going to need a full background check. Uh, you're going to need to know all of your customers. You're going to need to open up to regulatory inspections and keep 100% of all reserves on hand. Those don't sound um, too crazy. Uh, of course, you know you do need to keep detailed records of people buying Bitcoin, where they live, uh, how much Bitcoin they bought, how they bought it, how it was transferred, stuff like that. And it's actually had some of the community members for Bitcoin in an uproar saying that, you know, New York is going to kill off Bitcoin because of such a high regulation and how they're getting involved in it. But of course, I mean, that's, I, I can't really say if it is or if it isn't. Um, that's something that, of course, can be changed later on. But still, it is going to have an effect on New York. Um, again, people are saying, hey, you know, just move somewhere else, move to California, move to Austin. Uh, you don't even have to move that far either. Uh, some people were saying move down to Jersey, move down to Pennsylvania. It'll be a lot easier to work with uh, Bitcoin with their regulations than it would be with New York, of course. But let's try and get out of the, uh, the negativity that's, that's happened this last uh, week or so. And let's move on to Google. Google, on the other hand, has had some really good news. They've added BTC currency converter to their search engine. So you can actually come on here, you can look and see, you know, 10 Bitcoin to USD. And it'll give you a small graph as well as, you know, your 10 Bitcoin and what the value of the Bitcoin is. Bitcoin, of course, has uh, stayed fairly decent in, I want to say, 620s, somewhere around there. It hasn't really gone too far up or too far down, uh, just the normal fluctuations. But again, good news, Google adding a currency converter for BTC on their search engine. I love that, so people can actually go on there and look it up real quick. Another step forward is Dell. Dell started accepting Bitcoin so that you can purchase their items. Now, the only, I guess, thing about this is, uh, of course, Tiger Direct and Newegg, as we all know, have been accepting Bitcoin. And this has been an ongoing thing. I want to say Tiger Direct started uh, towards the end of last year. Newegg has been going for a little bit longer than Tiger Direct and accepting Bitcoin. But again, these are two other companies that do accept Bitcoin. Uh, Dell, of course, bringing Bitcoin slightly, a little bit more limelight. So it'll hopefully attract more users, more uh, customers, new customers. And it'll educate people on what they can spend Bitcoin on. But quickly moving on. Blockchain. Blockchain has released a new wallet for the Android. Of course, this is another good step forward. Uh, you can actually use blockchain to <laughs> pay for uh, whatever items you may be out. If you're out at a restaurant or if you're out, you know, you can even buy flowers now. There's some uh, flower shops set up. There's different little mom and pop stores that are already set up where they'll accept Bitcoin. And you can go in there with your new blockchain wallet, start buying items. Or, you know, if you're selling an item, of course, just got to follow those regulatory laws. <laughs> but... Yes, another good step forward. Blockchain, doing awesome. And we'll go ahead and end with 
PayFast and another exchange, I want to say it's called MyBitX, their exchange, have actually joined forces for South Africa. South Africa should be processing Bitcoin within the next, um, actually if they're not already processing it, they should be processing it within the next month or so. But that's really good. I know that in one of my previous videos, I've stated that another company had started trying to implement Bitcoin payments into East Africa and uh, I want to say it's Uganda. So clearly, it has been a very good step forward for Africa as it's starting to move closer to more uh, populated areas, more civilized areas like South Africa. Again, PayFast is mainly stationed there and that is a very good step forward for them. All right, guys, so I'm going to stop eating up uh, your time here. Don't forget that I'm still doing a red coin giveaway until the end of the month. Uh, once in the month pops up, I will start sending out red coin to people. So all you have to do is leave your address, leave a comment on there. You'll be good. Enjoy, guys.